Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, disclaimer, I have been extremely sick the last few days, like so sick. And uh, I had a really elaborate video plan for this part two of my Father's Day outing. But uh, my wife is also sick. We got the same stomach bug. She's asleep upstairs. So I'm out in my car with no AC. Uh, it has AC. I just have to turn it off for the, for the videos so it doesn't make the noise. It's a hard knock life for these uh, YouTube types, you know? So yeah, I'm out in my car. Um, sorry for the, uh, the drab backdrop here. Here's my, uh, here's my bushes. So yeah, Father's Day, we went to Chemical Toy Fair. If you have not seen that video, check it out. I'm gonna link it here, hopefully. Boop. That was our planned event my family was taking me to, but after we left there, um, we went to three other places. We went to get some food, first of all, at a really cool place called Conan's Pizza. It's my favorite pizza place, mostly because of the aesthetic. It's a uh, really throwback in there. It's like lots of wood paneling and, uh, it's called Conan's and it has like Conan the Barbarian artwork everywhere and they play 80s music. And uh, after that, I remembered uh, that my local comic book shop, Austin Books and Comics, little background on them, they so they, they have a comic book store they and they own kind of like the whole block. So they have a comic book store and then next to it they have like a, uh, it's kind of like high-end uh, vinyl figure store. And then around the corner from that they have a retro vintage toy store next to that is a coffee shop and then in the very back is what they have always called the sidekick store and it used to be like comic books that were like not in the best shape and they were all five dollars and then like marked down statues and stuff like that and that was okay but now they have brought it back and it's kind of like it's like their their back room it's kind of like their storage unit but they opened it up they opened it up on saturdays now and they bring in like any collection they get of comics they just bring it straight there uh, for you to look through so like it's not in any order or anything it's just like a bunch of long boxes of comic books and so i wanted to check it out uh, i went there it was really cool we didn't stay long but i i um i leafed through some of the comics they had their old uh vintage sign up because Austin Books and Comics has been there for like god I want to say over 30 years or something like that um so they had the old sign hanging up and uh, they had some cool stuff I mean like I, I went through like several boxes my family was out in the car waiting my daughter was asleep so I didn't have a ton of time uh, but what they do is uh, the owner and the manager sit there and they price things for you um as you wait so like you stand in line you bring them what you picked out and then they tell you the price which could be a little scary because you never know like they could be like three million dollars and you waited in the line for nothing there was a long line so which is the whole reason i didn't get anything but it was cool to check out um yeah i went back out to my car and we continued our adventure so next up we went to a place that we frequent quite a bit it's uh, called toy joy I, I did a video on this place a long time ago i've since taken that down but that was the old location and uh, they've moved to a new location now which is just amazing it looks like like Nickelodeon Studios. You can see the thing from a mile away. Um, it's all pink and green and uh, has like slime coming down the walls and it's just so cool. It's massive. It's got an ice cream shop and candy store inside and uh, this is not like vintage toys. This is all kind of like throwback new stuff. So they have like you know your classic toys in there but they also have uh, lots of throwback kind of like retro uh, action figures and stuff like that. One thing they have that I always check out are the new reissued uh, Barnyard Commandos. They always have a good stock of those and man did I love that toy line growing up. Just such an underrated one. I always go in there and just like salivate over the, the little sheep guy. I can't remember his name right now but Man, I really want one of those, they're so expensive. There's a certain little section they have where they have all the NECA figures. And so I go and I, I like wanna see what they've got. I'm walking down that aisle and I see from far away, they've got something I've been looking for for so long and that's the Earl Sinclair NECA figure. And I go right to it and grab it. This is what I'm getting, end of story, let's go. I got my toy. And so I start walking around. My family is, uh, you know, like looking around and shopping and I'm looking at Earl, he's like, oh yeah, this is it. 
it, no question. And then my family's still shopping, so I'm like, well, I'll go back to the NECA section, look some more. I go back and I'm like, hmm, look at these Dungeons and Dragons figures. Those are really cool. Now, I've never been like a massive D&D fan. Like I didn't play when I was growing up, but I loved the cartoon, which I know is different characters. Um, and I've just always really loved the vibe. Like I, I love the whole like dragon fantasy genre in general. I was looking at these two figures they have and I was like, I don't know, I think I want these. Earl or D&D, &D, Earl or D&D. &D. I went and asked my wife and she was like, whatever you want, I don't care, she doesn't care. And so, I just walk around, I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then finally I'm like, you know what? I, Earl is what I wanted, Earl is what I'm getting. And so I decided Earl Sinclair is the thing I'm purchasing for Father's Day for myself. So of course my daughter's still looking around, walking around, walking around. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna check out, basically put Earl up on the counter and I take one glance behind me and I noticed there is a clearance section right behind the counter uh, behind me from the counter, I immediately notice something that catches my eye. And it's a Mego Creature from the Black Lagoon figure. And it is marked down to $20. Now this is a uh, a large Mego figure. It's like a 14 inch. I'm like, wow, I love Creature. I have, my office is totally decorated with monster stuff and it's 20 bucks. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get that. And so like, uh, I put Earl back. I grabbed the creature and uh, I had made my decision and so I was happy with that. And so the cashier was like, do you have an account with us? And I said, uh, I have no idea, uh, how do we check? She said, give me your phone number. I gave her the phone number and she said, uh, sir, you have some points to redeem. And I said, great, let's do that. Um, how much? And uh, she said, it equals out to $20 and so, I was like, this is $20. And she was like, I know. And I said, I know. And then we like high fived and danced a little bit. And uh, I was like, I don't even know tax. She said, no, sir, here's your creature. And so uh, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. And here is my new little buddy. This is a uh, Creech, Creech from the BL. Can you see? Creech from the BL, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, really cool guy and uh, this is what I got for Father's Day for myself and wasn't that just a sweet little story everybody and uh, say hi Creech uh. oh. hi hi okay uh, sorry I, I may have like lost some brain cells in the last few days from just being so sick so I hope you enjoyed the video everybody uh, part two of my Father's Day antics and uh, got lots of cool stuff on the day total. So um, watch the last video if you haven't seen it. And I'm glad that you all stuck with me through to the end of this one. Um, have a great week, everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.